It's like eating chocolate. It tastes really good, it's indulgent, it makes you happy. But as you eat more, eventually you start feeling really guilty. Yet, you still want more. That is exactly how I feel like when I purchase luxury fragrances. My savings go down the drain every month, but at least I smell like a million bucks. So if you're like me and enjoy spending ridiculous amounts of money on frankly what is just fragrant water, then this video is for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. Happy New Year to all of you. And as you would have guessed, this is a luxury fragrance haul. So I've acquired quite a few luxury fragrances along the way. Some that I've bought, some that I've received, and I wanted to share these fragrances with you because you may find a perfume that you enjoy. So let's get straight into it. The first fragrance is, in my opinion, a highlight of 2020. It is Angel's Share by Killian. This is a boozy perfume that smells of Calvados or apple brandy. So you have an extract of cognac liquor within the scent, as well as some spices, oak wood, and I personally get some underlying notes of apple. It is warm, it's cozy and spicy, and is such a great fragrance for the winter time. For me personally, definitely a highlight from Killian. This fragrance will bring you to a castle, the most majestic castle, with an incredible wine cellar. You have wooden barrels, the liquor just soaks up all of the aromas of the wood, and it is what this fragrance smells like. So if you're into boozy perfumes, check this little guy out. It is 100% worth it. The second fragrance is Sandalwood Temple by Sana Jardin. This is a natural niche brand, and for me, this is like the best fragrance from the collection. So as you would have guessed from the name, this is a sandalwood fragrance, and it is the creamiest sandalwood ever, but it's really bright and fresh. You also have some vanilla as well as nutty vetiver. It just feels really milky and frothy, and honestly, such a nice, winter staple. Now the only drawback with this fragrance is the projection and the longevity. It's not a winner in that department, but I just love this fragrance. It is such a nice sandalwood and a really great milky sandalwood. The third perfume is one that I have been dreaming about for many years. It is L'Eau d'Hiver by Frédéric Malle. This fragrance is a really fresh, watery floral with musky undertones. So you have some heliotrope, there's also some jasmine, some musk. Overall, it is fresh and cocooning. And unlike the name suggests, which l'eau d'hiver means water of winter, this isn't a winter fragrance. This is a perfume that you can wear in winter, but you can also wear it in spring and in autumn time. This perfume is unisex, and I would say maybe leaning a little bit towards feminine. Nice staple from Frédéric Malle, one that I recommend you guys to discover. Next up, we have Enigma Parfum Cologne by Roja Parfum. Now this perfume is special because it smells like Coca-Cola. Yeah, you heard me. It actually smells like Coca-Cola. It is super fizzy and bright, especially in the opening. You have this bergamot note that really gives the impression of drinking Coca-Cola with a slice of lemon in the summertime. It is that fizzy, that effervescent, thin bubbles, and frankly, a little bit playful as well. As it dries down, you get a bit of a mysteriousness, some darkness, you get some woods with patchouli predominantly, and also some spices such as cardamom. So you're gonna get something quite interesting in the dry down, something that feels a little bit dirty at times, but just a little bit, but at the same time, it still smells really good. You also have a little bit of vanilla, so it's a little bit sweet, but yes, this is basically Coca-Cola in a bottle. Unisex, sillage is moderate, but longevity is really great. Enigma Parfum Cologne by Roja Parfum. The fifth fragrance is Elysium by Roja Parfum. Now this fragrance has one of the best openings I have ever smelt for a man's fragrance in the niche realm. It is so incredibly addictive. It smells of lemon sorbet mixed with thyme and vetiver. It is 
such an attention grabber. This is a type of perfume that when you first smell it, it will make you want to buy it straight away. This is like a total impulse purchase fragrance for sure. The vetiver in this perfume is gorgeous as well. You get a bit of that smokiness that is reminiscent of the vetiver that is in Lalique Encre Noire, but it's not as dark, it's not as soil-like. It does remain quite bright and fresh in this fragrance. I adore this fragrance. I think it is super sexy on a man, 100%, and it's the type of perfume that you can wear for every day as well. I have another Roja fragrance. It is Elixir pour Femme. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was not impressed with this fragrance when I first smelled it. This perfume was gifted to me and I was like, yeah, it smells really nice, for sure. It's a really lovely feminine scent, but there's nothing special about it. Like there's nothing that is groundbreaking. However, however, I just sprayed this, went on about my day, saw my fiance and he said that I smelled really, really good. He adores this perfume. And ever since I've been wearing it other times, every time he compliments me on this perfume. And I haven't been one who really cares about compliments, but when it comes to my fiance, those compliments are very important. So I kind of changed my mind about this perfume. Essentially, this is a floral, fruity, musky fragrance. The notes that are most dominant are rose, so like a dewy rose, as well as raspberry, peach, and musk. So it's really gorgeous. Simplistic, yes, but very well blended. Next up, we have the niche of the niche. It is Pink Pepperwood by 1000 Flowers. This is a brand that is from Grasse. They create all the fragrances in Grasse and they're as niche as it goes. So Pink Pepperwood is a really fresh, spicy fragrance for winter. This is 100% unisex and it's a really interesting perfume. So you have some pink pepper in this fragrance. It is extremely cold and icy, and it's blended with some resinous pine needles. It literally recreates the landscape of a winter wonderland, that really thick snow on the branches of trees. They're like glistening in the sun, frozen lakes, this is what this fragrance recreates. And all in all, it is a very, very spicy perfume. Great, as I said, for winter and really unique. Pink Pepperwood by 1000 Flowers. The next fragrance is by Maison Francis Curgeon. It is Oud Satin Mood. Now, most of you know this fragrance and it is sublime. This is such a masterpiece from Maison Francis Curgeon, yet another one. This is a jammy rose blended with oud, and you also have a little bit of sweetness from vanilla. This perfume is super sexy. It is date night worthy. This is a type of fragrance that you wanna wear if you're going to like an intimate dinner with your partner. You are, you know, in a lounge, very classy, having maybe some red wine. You're dressed really nicely. This is a fragrance that I would reach out for. This is a type of fragrance that will really boost your confidence, will make you feel sexy right from the start. It's unisex, men, women can enjoy this scent, and a great one from Maison Francis Curgeon. Now I couldn't just have Oud Satin Mood, I also needed to get Oud Silk Mood. This perfume is also a rose to Oud composition, very different to Oud Satin Mood. It is less sweet and it's easier to wear. I would say this is a rose fragrance that you can wear every day, and it's also fresher and lighter in the sense that it is brightened with hedion, which is a component of jasmine. So it's more floral, a little bit more musky and transparent than oud satin mood. By no means is it less sexy, no, but it's just more wearable for everyday use. So that was Oud Silk Mood by Maison Francis Curgeon. Whilst we're on the topic of rose fragrances, we also have Taif by Ormond Jane. Now I discovered this perfume recently, and to be honest, I bought a discovery set from Ormond Jane, smelled Taif Rose, and the same day that I smelled the fragrance, I purchased it online. This very, very rarely happens, but I fell in love with the scent. It was love at first sniff with this perfume. So Taif Rose is a different type of rose. It is dried rose petals blended with pink pepper and amber. And that amber just makes it really lovely and warm, but it's still very fresh at the same time. This is a very wearable rose fragrance. It's a rose that has character, but isn't too overpowering either. I think this is a perfume for those of you 
who aren't really into rose fragrances, but you still maybe want to try it, this one is really lovely. It is fresh, it is sexy at the same time, and another one that is signature worthy for women. This for sure skews more feminine than masculine, but hey, if you're a guy and you love rose fragrances that are a bit fresher, definitely try out Daif by Ormanger. And now we have something that is a little bit more indulgent. It is Cuir Curcuma by Affinescence. Cuir Curcuma literally means leather turmeric. So this is a leather turmeric fragrance. How unusual, right? It works so well, this combo. And it is not a leather that is gonna to be too strong, too thick, too car seat leather vibes. It's not gonna give you that. This fragrance smells like as if you're wearing a leather jacket whilst drinking a turmeric latte. So it's milky, a little bit rooty from the turmeric, so, sort of earth-like as well, but it is softened and sweetened by myrrh. You also have sandalwood and you have this underlying note of leather. Niche quality, 100%. This is beast mode. You're gonna get an insane projection. The longevity is phenomenal on this perfume as well. Do you wanna have fireworks in your nostrils, but I mean in the best possible way? Well, you're gonna get it with side effects from Initio Parfum Privé. Yes, I finally purchased this fragrance. It is a boozy cinnamon tobacco fragrance. This smells as if you were taking a shot of rum and then followed by doing a cinnamon challenge. Like, you know, the cinnamon in the spoon, you had that after your shot of rum. <laughs> that is what this fragrance smells like. It is such a gorgeous tobacco scent. It's sweet, it's sexy, it has a phenomenal sillage. Everyone will smell you when you wear this fragrance. And as with all initial fragrances, the longevity is amazing. It's 10 out of 10. You're gonna get a solid 10 hours wear from this fragrance. Like, what, what else do you want? Next up, we have a tea fragrance. It is Tétonique by Miller Harris. This perfume smells like a lemongrass green tea. To simply put, this smells to me like Asia. I used to live in Asia. I grew up in Asia when I was younger and it just brings me back there. This perfume is extremely fresh, it's citrusy, you have some bergamot as well, and you also have quite a bit of spice with nutmeg. It will dry down with a lot of musk too. It's just really gorgeous. This is a really calm and soothing fragrance and is one that is great for everyday use and especially really good if you're in living in hot, humid environments. This one I would highly recommend for those types of climates. And I personally enjoy spraying this fragrance before going to bed because it has that calming vibe about it and it smells really clean and fresh. Tétonique by Miller Harris. And the final fragrance is Rima 11 by Carner. This perfume is such an edible fragrance. It is milky, it is sweet, it smells, it smells of a chai latte blended with a madeleine. A madeleine is a French sponge cake, like vanilla French sponge cake. And this is what this fragrance smells like. It is so good. You have some sandalwood, some cardamom, so that spiciness. And I believe there's vanilla in here as well. It is such a great gourmand, but it's not like any gourmand you would have smelled before. If you are the type of person who likes your sweeter fragrances, but you want something different, Rima 11 by Carner, hands down, one of the best from the brand. This is a fragrance that is super cozy, great for Netflix and chill, and again, for those of you who like sweeter perfumes. So this concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed discovering all of these luxury fragrances. Let me know in the comments down below what fragrances you have tried, what fragrances you enjoy. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, spread the fragrant love. Bye.